I've spent a lot of time, probably too much time, analyzing people's stylish outfits, trying to figure out what makes them look so good and put together. So in today's video, I'm gonna share those findings with you so you can incorporate them into your own outfits. Consider this a cheat sheet for style. Now do keep in mind there's nothing scientific about this. These are purely my own observations and opinions. They're just things that look stylish to my eyes. You might disagree and that's fine. That's part of what makes fashion so exciting. But anyway, that's enough rambling. Let's just get into it. The first thing I've noticed about anyone who looks stylish is that they clearly know their body measurements. You can tell they have a proper understanding of their own body type and shape and then they've gone out and bought the clothes to fit that. Knowing this is something that has helped me to no end when building outfits. You can go as far as you'd like with the measurements you want to take, such as arms, legs, hips, shoulders, etc. But at the bare minimum, you're gonna to want to know your chest, waist, and inseam measurements. All you need is a cheap measuring tape, and these will cover you for 90% of your clothes. Of course, the store you're buying from needs to work with you a bit and actually display accurate measurements on their website. Thankfully, a lot of stores are getting better at that. And if you're buying secondhand, be sure to just shoot the seller a message. The majority of them are gonna be happy to send you the measurements you need. But once you have even a rough idea of your measurements, you can confidently go out there and start to purchase clothes that fit you properly. When you wear things that fit you, you feel more comfortable and stylish people always look comfortable in what they're wearing. So get to know your measurements, go out and buy clothes that fit those measurements, and you're gonna look 100 times better, minimum, guaranteed. The next thing stylish people do is to incorporate trends into their outfits, but in a natural and effective way. Some people say you should avoid trends and only focus on timeless pieces, and I've probably said something similar in the past as well. But if I did, then I'm gonna have to disagree with myself. I don't think there's anything wrong with following trends. They're a great way to find inspiration and an excuse to try out new styles. The key thing I see stylish people doing though is to wear trends in a way that doesn't completely take over their outfit. For example, the baggy oversized trend has been blazing on for years now, but you can tell there's definitely a divide between those who make it look good and those who make it look bad. The ones who look good tend to just casually drop an oversized piece into an outfit, like a good fitting pair of jorts or an oversized hoodie, rather than going all out baggy and way too oversized with every piece, including shoes and accessories. The same can be said for other trends like the animal print or metallic color trend. Going all in can be a little bit overbearing and seems to actually detract from someone's style rather than adding to it. I know that technically everything started off as a trend once, but I personally think that the most stylish people incorporate them in a way that's slower and more considered, so that they add something interesting to their outfit instead of just screaming, I'm following this trend. The third thing that stylish people do without fail is to dress intentionally. This is all about understanding what kind of clothes you're wearing and how they're supposed to fit. It's something I've talked about many times on this channel, but it's always worth repeating because it's such a key aspect to stylish outfits. Stylish people wear clothes in a way that they were designed to be worn. This means if you have a slim top or pants, wear them slim. Don't size up to try and make them look relaxed. If you have a relaxed top or pants, don't size down to try and make them look more fitted. Also, bonus point for those who consider how a piece was historically designed to look. I think the type 1, 2 and 3 denim jackets are a great example of this point. They were originally designed to be short in length and quite slim, which was good for their intended purpose of workwear. Stylish people understand this and wear historically accurate sizing. Rather than oversized denim jackets, which don't look the best in my opinion. Another element of being intentional is to dress purposefully, and that's all about knowing your personal style. Stylish people's outfits often have an underlying theme or story to tell that's tying everything together. Something you can't quite put your finger on, but it makes sense. And that's usually because they know their personal style, what they like and what they don't like. So the pieces they wear link up and look cohesive. And just like I said with the first point, this leads to people looking comfortable in what they're wearing, which translates into good style. 
The fourth thing I've noticed that every stylish person has in common is that they keep it subtle with logos. Now there's absolutely nothing wrong with having logos on display. I get it, when you've paid a lot for something, it's nice to flex a bit and I'm totally the same. But there's definitely a tipping point where too many logos or too much branding just looks distasteful and it can actually make people come off as kind of desperate, which is not a good look. In my opinion, some of the worst culprits are some of the so-called luxury brands like Louis Vuitton and Gucci. In isolation, these louder pieces can be used really effectively to elevate a basic outfit. But layering logos upon logos upon brand names, it starts to look a bit naff. As I said, I think it's way more of a powerful and stylish statement to subtly incorporate logos. There's loads of really interesting videos about the psychology and financial implications behind people wearing bold designer pieces. I even talk about it a bit in my succession fashion video, so go and watch that afterwards if you're interested. But the bottom line is, from what I can see, the most universally stylish people rarely have a bunch of logos on display. They make their outfits look good through other means, such as fit, quality, layering, and color theory. So as you've just heard me say, the fifth thing that all stylish people know how to use are colors and layering. I'm kind of lumping these two together, even though they could easily be separate sections, but they just go hand in hand so well. And they're gonna be a huge factor as we approach fall and winter. Pretty much any outfit you see that looks stylish will be layering complementary colors. When someone stylish is able to pull off wearing a bunch of colors together, it's no mistake. They understand the color wheel, what matches and in what order. If you don't want to mess around with a bunch of colors, an easier method is probably to just introduce one standout color into your outfit and keep everything else either the same color or more neutral. Or another thing you'll see stylish people do again and again is to just wear neutrals such as black, white, gray, and beige. You've heard it a million times that neutrals are a great way to elevate your outfit, and that's because it's simply true. People who know style will then know how to layer their outfits with these colors. Layering can be something as simple as wearing your button-up shirt open with a t-shirt or vest underneath rather than just a closed button-up shirt, or wearing a flannel shirt underneath a denim jacket with the collar and bottom just poking out slightly. There's also layering of accessories with hats, scarves, or jewelry. And of course, you can go a step further and ensure your layer colors are complementary or go the easy route of all neutrals. Layering is all about adding depth to an outfit, whether that be through different textures, patterns, or colors. It's a low effort technique that all stylish people use to make their outfits stand out. So there's five things that I've noticed all stylish people seem to do without fail. Again, these are just my observations. I'd love to know if you have anything to add or remove from this list. I've said it many times before, but I think the most important thing is to feel confident and comfortable in what you're wearing. Anyway, I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.